And it's like, I don't know. There's the whole rumor that uh, the Patriots sent an offer to the Niners with Tom Brady first and not Jimmy G. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like, why not? I mean, mm-hmm. that makes sense, right? Yeah, if so, you think you have your guy. You yeah, know? exactly. So, I mean, that's. Do you think they're regretting that decision now? Just sending him away? I think uh, they have Mac. They're like, it's no, fine. they're fine. I mean, yeah. they probably were when Brady left last year and when they yeah. won the Super Bowl with the Bucks, and they're mm-hmm. stuck in, in Cam Newton purgatory, like not really knowing yeah. what's happening. <laughs> yeah. And he's not throwing the ball well. So, like, it was interesting because they were like, okay, we're going to run the ball at the quarterback. Mm-hmm. And the the quarterback that runs the ball against the Patriots historically has had great success. So yeah. they're like, well, let's try it. You know, Josh McDaniels mm-hmm. drafted Tim Tebow, if you remember, yeah. and he was in Denver. So he was like, I want to do this. Yeah. And they did it, and they were actually successful running the ball. And, like, in the red zone, they were good there. But the passing game stuff wasn't there. So um, that's where I was like, well, maybe they'll stay in this market and try and get a guy, you know, like Trey Lance or, like, some, yeah. someone that can actually run. But they, mm-hmm. they, they, they say no. We're going to get the guy, Mac Jones, who runs like a refrigerator and just literally stands right. there. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go back in time, do the same things we've always done. We know it's going to be successful, and, and off they go. So we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, just like you, right? If you didn't have your legs in Houston, <clears throat> it would have been wraps. If you couldn't move around. Ron Jaworski <laughs> uh, was an old ESPN commentator, actually played for the Philadelphia Eagles, and he was mm-hmm. a quarterback um, on the team that gave up like 70-something sacks. Oh, um, and it was Randall Cunningham and him, apparently. Yeah. They were on the team, they, they kind of split the, the mm-hmm. sacks or whatever. And he was like, if you couldn't run, you'd have 100 sacks. He told me that before oh, an yeah. ESPN game. Oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. I was out, man. <laughs> I was out the gate. I wasn't waiting around to see what was going to happen either. I was like, no, nah, man. I, we get to like halfway through that season. Mm-hmm. And first of all, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm done playing football. This is dumb. This is yeah. stupid. Let's do mm-hmm. something else. And then – In Houston, you were saying? Yeah, and then I was yeah. like, uh, they paid me a lot of money to play quarterback. So maybe I'll stick around and see if I can yeah. figure this thing out. And then I just started running around. I remember being in the in the huddle, mm-hmm. and we'd get down in the red zone, and our best play literally was me dropping back, waiting for the line to kind of show a little bit of a crease because there was going to be one, <laughs> right? And I would step up and then move to my right, and uh, Corey Bradford was from the Green Bay Packers. He's mm-hmm. my wide receiver. He's a veteran guy. He literally could run a, a go route straight, a slant. That was it. That's all he could do. He couldn't stop. He couldn't turn, right? So I was like, all right, Corey. So we, we did it on accident. Um in a scramble drill against mm-hmm. Jacksonville where I scrambled, rolled out, and he pretended like he was going to go run the back in line. Yeah. And then he whipped back out, and I just threw it in the corner. Uh-huh. And he made it to cut a touchdown. We were yeah. like, that's the best red zone play we've had all year. <laughs> right? So, like, uh-huh. the next week we play, I think we played Tennessee, um, and we I threw for, like, 370 yards. Yeah. The majority of it was hit, me and him just literally <laughs> yeah, me getting out of the pocket, and he would just scramble, find some <laughs> space, and I would just fling it to him. The, the crowd was going nuts. <laughs> it's literally like a superstar KO mode for you in real life. <laughs> just just, yeah, around. I was like, just let me get out of here. And then, like, what, what happens in football is, like, when you make a play like that, the coaches, they want to be like, okay, go through your reads, stay in the pocket, trust yeah. you. But you score a touchdown, the, and yeah. 60,000 fans are going crazy. Mm-hmm. So the coach is like, yeah, great job, high five, you know? So it's like, you idiot. You survived. Yeah. Well, yeah. as, as a fan, like, it's great if you can stick in the pocket and throw like, just, like, solid play, yeah. solid yeah. touchdown. But it's so much cooler to watch somebody just, like, scrambling. It looks like they're going to get said. nailed yeah. from every direction and then yeah, yeah. somehow pull it off. Also, yeah. real quick, the scariest thing I've probably ever seen in my life is looking over there and see Tyler adjusting knobs. This might be <laughs> what is he adjusting? <laughs> like, we haven't moved. No. There's no <laughs> exterior <laughs> circumstances. We're not Chill outside. Out, Chill out. I'm doing my own thing over here. I'm trying to figure it out. All right, we're doing good. Did Sounds you good. Did you good. unblock your girl? Uh, did she respond mm-hmm. yet? You know so what, we've man. been here for now. Hey, everyone takes, I, everyone takes an L uh, once in a while, bro. You don't have everyone, to take the L. You took the L everyone yourself. Now, if you guys enjoyed those clips, make sure to follow us on all social media accounts at Harvester Sports.